I'm Jennifer Waddell from Fox 17 News. On this Sunday, August 30th, we have a special edition of the news today. So let's get straight to the headlines. One of the top stories we're following is Hurricane Laura and the impacts even here in Middle Tennessee. Uh, oh, wait, what's that? Okay, uh, just a it looks like we've got some breaking news. Uh, the breaking news just into the newsroom on this August 30th, it is uh, Jessica Palmore's, did I get that right, 40th birthday? Okay, yes, the producers confirmed. Today is Jessica Palmore's 40th birthday. That's the best headline I've got all day, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Great news. Jessica, happy birthday. Hope you have an awesome day, sweet lady. Hey, Jess, you may have noticed we are having a movie night, but it may not be what you expected. We are having, um, I'm going to save it. I think it's best just to sit and watch. Sit back, enjoy the show. Um, you know, I'd rather throw a big blowout party, but I feel like we should probably use a little bit of common sense just in case this is dangerous. Just close family and friends, no blowout party, but I felt like everyone needed to be there. Grab the tissues, you're gonna love this. One last thing, I tried to scan pictures, I couldn't figure it out. I feel like an old person trying to program the clock on a VCR. So, you're, our, you're right, everyone's right, I admit it right now. I took my iPhone 6S and I took pictures of pictures. When I think about Jessica, the verse in Hebrews that says, make every effort to be at peace with everyone and to be holy. Um, that verse comes to mind with her because she, um, for me, has always exemplified that. Um, I've always looked up to her as um, the annoying little sister of her friend to um, today as just a friend. She has always just um, been steadfast. She's always been peaceful. She's always been kind. Um, in every situation, I just know that she's always looking for a way to um, just show the love of Christ. And I've always looked up to that, and I still do. Um, so happy birthday, Jessica. I hope you are celebrated today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Jessica. Hey, we just wanted to wish you a happy birthday, the big 4-0. You did it. Thank you so much for uh, allowing me to work with your husband. It's been awesome, and we look forward to hanging out with you guys for many, many years to come. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, happy 40th birthday, Jess. I hope that you're having a wonderful day as you deserve it. You're a wonderful friend. You're a wonderful sister. You're a wonderful wife, an amazing mom and teacher, and you deserve the best day ever. So enjoy it. Soak it up and make the most of the memories that you get from today. Bye. Hey, Jessica, happy birthday. Happy birthday. We love you. Hey, we just wanted to just send a little video and just tell you how special you are to us and our family. And we hope that today that you feel as special as you are. Yes. Hey, and our kids in the background are saying happy birthday. We just wanted to let you know that one of the things that we love about you is just how 
one, just kind and welcoming, but also um, just really considerate and thoughtful you are. It's something that you've shown us um, from the very first time that we met you, and we know that that is still true of you today. We miss you guys. Uh, we're so happy to be a part of this video. We love y'all. One of the memories that I have about you that I think shows your character is how proud you were of yourself when you placed the top of your age bracket in a 5K. <laughs> it was, I think it was the Hendersonville Memorial Run. It was awesome. And, uh, and that just really showed me um, like how hard you work at what you do. You're a hard worker. And, uh, and I was super proud with you and celebrated uh, as a community group or a home group with you guys. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. We love you and uh, happy birthday. All right, we love you. Hey, Jessica. I uh, just wanted to tell you happy birthday. And I'm so thankful to have known you and been a friend of yours for so many years now. Um, so many fun memories, mostly involving cheerleading. Uh, too many to even think about or name. Uh, and more recently, loved spending those years with you at Bible study. And now I can't wait for many, many years to come of us spending so much time together at Davidson. So, hope you have a great birthday. Love you so much. Jessica, it's Amy. I just wanted to wish you a happy 40th birthday. Welcome to the club. I promise now your back and knees are going to hurt when you get out of bed in the morning. Um, we've got lots of memories together. A lot of them have to do with our time at UT. Um, whether it was watching Dawson's Creek at y'all's apartment in the fort or going to um, Naples to celebrate spring break and driving in the purple convertible or going to the Kentucky game in your white Maxima and the flags falling off in the middle of the road and we had to stop and turn around and get them. We just had lots of fun and um, although years have passed, I still value all those times and they're really special to me. You've always been such a sweet um just quiet soul and I'm I'm so thankful to know you. Happy 25th birthday Miss Jessica. Just joking we know you're getting old. Happy birthday! Hey Jessica I want to wish you a very happy 40th birthday. I have only the fondest memories of you as a student and later as a member of our faculty at Davidson Academy. Have a great birthday and many, many more. Well, Jessica, I just wanted to take this time and wish you a happy 40th birthday. There is no one else I would rather run with. So maybe we need to celebrate with 40 miles for your 40th birthday. Just kidding. I really don't want to do that. Happy birthday. Hope it's great. So we are live here at Davidson Academy, and we just got breaking news that... Uh, we had to wish somebody a special happy birthday. Right there, yep. Happy birthday to this girl right here. And we all know that uh, she ended up with this hunk right here. In all seriousness, happy birthday, Jessica. Big 4-0. Happy 40th birthday, Jesse. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday from the Grand Canyon. And I just want to tell you, don't forget, no pooping in the pool. Jess, happy birthday. Um, happy 40th. I hope you have a great day. I was looking at things that um, happened on your birthday, around your birthday, and this song was number one. Um, it's Sailing by Christopher Cross, just so you know. And then another fun fact is, oh, if you have slept 13 years of your life, the average person has, but we know you slept more than that. I think you probably have probably 14 or 15 years under your belt. Um, but anyway, I hope you have a great day. I hope you get to celebrate with friends and family. Um, let's hang out soon, and I hope you feel loved as much as you give yourself to others and unselfishly love. Jess, I love you, and celebrate, and cheers. Cheers to 40. It's water because you don't drink. Have a great day. Love you.
Jess, happy birthday. Welcome to the 40 Club. Super great club to be in. When I think about you, it is crazy to think about all of the life that we've like shared together. Elementary school, high school, cheerleading, which was super fun time. Lifeguarding at Pleasant Green. College. You were so disciplined then you would like go to bed so early for cross country. Oh, goodness me. Um, and then now with like kids and families and all that kind of stuff. That's really cool and significant to share life, kind of to be in the same place and to share life with somebody over time. So I remember you in second grade with your little glasses. I remember so many fun um, slumber parties at your dad's house, driving in the scoop and the Maxima to gymnastics across the world and working at the pool and college and you had a cell phone before anybody that I knew had a cell phone and I remember thinking that was really cool. Um, and when you and Brandon hosted our, we had, what was that called? A housewarming party when we moved back to the States, that probably didn't feel like a big deal to you, but that was a really big deal for us. Um, that was really kind and um, so when I think about you this is what I think of these are characteristics that I think you are I think you're consistent I think you're dependable I think you are um, disciplined responsible and wise I think that you live with wisdom and you um, think through you're a thinker you think through things um, you don't kind of approach life sorry in a haphazard way. Um, I think you're generous. I think you have an open heart. I think you're thoughtful. Um, I think that you are warm and welcoming. And um, I think that those are all qualities um, that make you a fabulous mom and a wonderful wife and an employee, you know, employee. I think that all of your roles that you are, that you play in life, that um, you use all those qualities to in um, a way that makes you just a wonderful asset in everything that you do. So, celebrating you, care about you deeply, love you, thankful for your um, friendship, and I hope that you have a wonderful 40th birthday. See ya! Hey Jess, my birthday buddy. I wanted to send you a message to wish you a very happy birthday. Um, I had full intentions of it being creative. I actually ordered a 1980, just says 1980 shirt on it, but it didn't come in time. And I had planned on having my makeup on and at least my hair fixed, but that didn't happen either. Brandon has been hounding me to get him this video. So here I am. In just my true fashion. So, I cannot believe we are turning 40. And I can't believe, when I think about it, that we've known each other 30-something years. Um, it seems like yesterday that we were just celebrating our 12th birthday party at my house. Um, and then, obviously, we had our fun 16th party. Um, lots of good memories. I feel like we've had a lot of fun memories on our birthdays, but I also think we've had a ton of fun memories in general. Um, I was thinking about all the fun things that we have done over the years. There's so many things that just make me smile when I think about all the good times and fun times and trips and parties and um, just hanging out. Um, it's all been awesome, but I was thinking, and the one thing that came to my mind that just stood out was probably my favorite thing, one of my favorite things and times that we spent were the times that we spent at Nanny's. I don't think I have 
ever laughed so hard. She was one of the funniest people. I was thinking about when she tooted, whoop, whoop. You know, that makes me laugh. That makes me just smile. Um, but most importantly, I just want you to know that I don't know if I've ever really told you how good of a friend and a person that I think you are. I know I've written it, but I've probably never spoken it to you. So today I want to tell you that you mean the world to me. You are one of my very favorite people on this earth. I am so thankful and blessed to have you a part of my life. I wish that we could see each other more, but I know that you always, always are there for me and will be there for me throughout our lives. Um, I think you are one of the most hardworking, disciplined, loyal, loving, kind people that I know. And for that... Um, I feel extremely blessed to call you my friend and also somebody that I've always been able to share my birthdays with. This is a big one and um, I'm excited for both of us. I hope you have a great day with your family and hopefully I will get to see you soon. Love you very much. Hey Jessica, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. What can I say about you? You are the sweetest, most thoughtful, generous, caring person that I know. I've learned a lot from watching you over the years. You're such a good example of putting others before yourself and um, you're a blast to be with. We have lots of memories together. I'm just so thankful for your friendship. I hope you have a wonderful 40th birthday. And when this COVID stuff's over, we are celebrating big time. Love you, sweet friend. Take a step back to see the truth around you from a distance. You Happy birthday, Jess. 40. Wow. Uh, you've got the three of us because this is just life for us. We just grab whoever we can right now. But we love you. <laughs> we do love you. And I'm fortunate enough to say that I have known you for most of your 40 years on this planet. And what a gift you are to all of us. Um, we wish you the very best on your 40th birthday. And look forward to what the next 40 years will bring you with uh, early bedtimes and lots of bathroom trips. And I guess that's really not that much different than what your life has been to this point anyway. So uh, we are thankful that you are our friend. We are thankful for the impact that you've made on our family and the love that you've shown all of us. And we wish you the very best. Lots of love and happiness on your birthday. Uh, do you want to sing? Sure. Happy, Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jess. Happy birthday to you. She's not singing. Yes, I am. Happy Happiest birthday, Happiest birthday, Jess. birthday, sweet Jess. We love you. Happy 40th. All right, have you finished solving this problem? Yes, Huber.
Uh, 29. No, that's not it. That's a tassel there. Well, look, 30 plus 4 is 34. No, no, no. Pam dies. It's three fourths. It's always a fraction. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right. Right. There's time. a fraction. In, uh, yes, not totally. Do you have a guess? I'm with her. Mm -hmm. No, it's forty. 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 It's just because forty. Just because forty. I got it. I got it. Hey Jess, just wanted to come on and say happy 40th birthday. I hope you are so excited. I know you probably aren't but um, you deserve to be celebrated. You are a wonderful friend, a supportive colleague, a great mom, and an awesome wife. And I wanted to come and tell you how much you mean to me. Gosh, you know, me as a little eighth grader running on your cross country team seems like forever ago, but I'm so thankful that that brought us together. And now we're friends and you share your family with me, and that's truly something that I cherish. You know, it's very rare to find friends that you work with, but that are also someone you can trust and depend on. And for me, you are one of those people. And I just truly appreciate our friendship more than you'll know, more than words could express. And I hope that you feel celebrated because you deserve it. You are a light. Your kindness overflows into the lives that you touch every day. And I admire the way you are with your girls and who you are as a teacher and who you are as a mom. And um, I just love you. And I hope that this these 40 years, you look back and you see beautiful memories and that your next 40 are filled with even more. Happy birthday. Jessica, Kyle and I just wanted to say happy birthday. From, happy birthday. Happy birthday from the wildest couple you know. I'm gonna be crazy and take my mask off. We just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I am um, feel very blessed from your friendship and uh, you are just one of the kindest, sweetest, thoughtful, and generous friends I know. So you deserve to be celebrated. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. I never would have thought that uh, when we were cheering together at Davidson that this season would come where our husbands would be such close friends and we'd get to spend so many years together in small groups. So I've really enjoyed the um, connection that we have had in this season of life so don't you worry about being 40 because it is time to celebrate every season is special so happy birthday happy birthday i love you bye bye on the first day of quarantine corona gave to me a whole lot of uncertainty on the second day of quarantine corona gave to me no toilet paper and a whole lot of uncertainty. On the third day of quarantine, Corona gave to me a tank full of gas. No toilet paper and a whole lot of uncertainty. On the fourth day of quarantine, Corona gave to me hand sanitizer. A tank full of gas. No toilet paper and a whole lot of uncertainty. On the fifth day of quarantine, Corona gave to me. A husband with no travel schedule. Oh, me. Hand sanitizer. A tank full of gas. No toilet paper. And a whole lot of uncertainty. On, On the, the sixth, sixth day of quarantine, quarantine Corona gave to me. No sports competitions. A husband with no travel. Hand sanitizer. A tank full of gas. No toilet paper. And a whole lot of uncertainty. On, On the seventh day of quarantine, quarantine Corona gave to me. Teaching online. Oh, but what about my kids? No sports competitions. A husband with no travel. Hand sanitizer. A tank full of gas. No toilet paper. And a whole lot of uncertainty. On the eighth day of quarantine, Corona get to me. Driveway workout. Teaching online. No sports competitions. A husband with no travel. Hand sanitizer. A tank full of gas. No toilet paper. And a whole lot of uncertainty. 
On the ninth day of quarantine, Corona get to me. Have you seen these gnarly nails? Drive my work out. Teaching online. No sports competitions. A husband with no travel. Hand sanitizer. A tank full of gas. No toilet paper. And a whole lot of uncertainty. On the tenth day of quarantine, Corona get to me. Take out dinner. Have you seen these gnarly nails? Driveway workouts. Teaching online. No sports competitions. A husband with no travel. Hand sanitizer. A tank full of gas. No toilet paper. And a whole lot of uncertainty. On the sixth month of quarantine, quarantine corona, corona gave to me. No big celebration. Gifts in the mailbox? A lousy song from my friend Lee. And a whole lot of uncertainty. Happy birthday, Jessica. We're so sorry that we can't celebrate with a big celebration, but we've learned in these past few months you just got to roll with the punches. We hope you have a happy birthday. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So this is only take three. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to do this birthday wish with kids at home during virtual learning. But happy birthday, Jessica. Um, I hate that we can't be there with you to celebrate in person, but I uh, just wanna make a video of things that come to mind when I think about you and, um, and our memories and things that we have shared together thus far in our um, friendship. And F, I think about fitness and faithfulness. Um, fitness because, gosh, it was the um, frostbite that I saw you and I can't remember who was running it, but you encouraged me to run more. And then, I don't know, something's clicked and I've just fallen in love with fitness. And um, I'm actually doing this without crying. The first take I was crying and then Haley interrupted me, so that was a good thing. But faithfulness, um, if anyone knows you, um, they know that you are a woman of faith and that Christ means a lot to you. Um, and I will never forget that morning of my first half Ironman. I was freaking out about swimming in that stupid ocean. And I get this text from you and you say, I'm praying for you. I'm up praying for you. And at 5 30 in the morning, I know you're not lying. I know a lot of times we say, hey, I'll pray for you. Sometimes we forget, sometimes we do, but I knew at that moment you were praying for me. And that's all it took. Um, so I thank you for your faithfulness. Um, and then I think about R. I think about you're so reserved. You're so uh, quiet and peaceful. Um, and then I think about running R. Um, like I said, the frostbite. I think about all our running um, memories that we had, all those trips down Bonita Parkway when we were training for my first half um, marathon back for uh, Music City. Uh, all those fun times and the jails and the water and you try, uh, made me try Fig Newtons and then cheering on when you were pregnant at front of that one house. And we started naming all these, um, who was it like, Eddie George, hey! And everybody was looking around. Of course, we didn't see Eddie George. We just started making up people's names that we saw. We just had the best time. Running has always been a bond um, between us. And then I think about I. I, you're very intelligent. You're a teacher. You teach math. That's a hard subject. And you tutor. I like. I don't know anyone that is smart enough to tutor other people. I don't have the patience to teach other people. And then I think about Iron Man. I'll never forget that either. I feel like you've been through um, every milestone I've had as an athlete. Um, when you and Brandon came to support me. It was a huge relief um, to have you there. Um, seeing you, <laughs> I remember seeing you and Brandon driving on those last like 10 miles in the car um, and being super excited. And then of course, I know this isn't about Brandon, but I do remember, 
I think it was Haley had fallen asleep on top of Kate or uh, Brandon's shoulders. I don't know if there's a picture in here or not, but I do have to look. Um, but it was an incredible gift to have you there. Um, it was an incredible gift to uh, see you out on the fields. But look how sweet that is. Look at Brandon and Carl and both girls uh, just waiting there at the finish line. I mean, it's a testament to your friendship. It's a long day. And um, you were there supporting me each step of the way. I was wondering if I could find another picture, but um, I would love to have one of me and you. I can't, oh, look, this one's a very special one, too. Um, e, um, I think about edifying. I think you are one of the most positive people I've ever met. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't know that you've ever said anything negative about anybody. Um, you're way better at controlling your tongue than I am. And um, you're elegant. When I think about you, I think about your beautiful blonde hair and how you're always poised and put together. Um, your beauty inside matches your beauty outside. Um, and I think that goes along with edifying as well. And then D, I think about your dedication to your family, uh, to your friends. I know that this season of life is hard. Um, I think about how easily we were able to get together and enjoy uh, friendship before kids and now that our kids are busy and, and they head in different directions um, but you're dedicated to them and their um, school and their sports you're dedicated to your job and teaching you're dedicated to the church uh, you're dedicated as a wife uh, as a daughter um, you're just a dedicated and dependable person I know that if I need anything and I ask for you to help uh, there's never a doubt that you will do everything possible. Um, and that leads me to S. And I think about your servant's heart and your sharing, sharing of your family. Um, I look forward to Thanksgiving and Easter every year. Um, so thank you for opening your, your family and sharing it with uh, Carl and I and uh, your servant's heart. I know that you do a lot for the church. You serve in a lot of different areas, uh, maybe too much sometimes, um, but it just does show how, um, God is using you, and I just pray that uh, on your 40th birthday, you feel the love of your friends and your family, and here's to celebrate many more years. Happy birthday, Jess. Hello, Jessica. Happy 40th birthday. Oh, it's hard to believe we are hitting our 40s. Um, I must say, I hope that your 40th birthday goes a lot better than mine. I spent it in the chiropractor office. What can I say? Welcome to the 40s. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you and I go way, way back. Um, I met you at Union University and we were um, Zetas together. Have lots of memories from being Zetas. Um, oh, so many memories from Rush and it was really just a great four years. And I loved getting to know you through Zeta. But I think I got to know you the best through running cross country together for Union and you really do get to know people really well running uh, together, but um, you have always been such a kind, gracious, um, precious, loyal friend and I am just so glad to have had the opportunity to get to know you well at Union and you are still that beautiful, kind, gracious person today. Um, I wish you the best year. Happy birthday, Jessica. And um, yeah, I hope, it's a, I hope it's a great year. Hope it's a great birthday. Hey, Jessica, happy birthday. I'm so excited to be making you a video to celebrate you today. I think that this is my sixth video to make for you. I haven't liked any of them. So now I've made me a list. So that might keep me on track. Um, memories with Jessica, running together, countless memories, running in the sleet, running in the rain, running in the sun, having a bathroom break, waiting outside for you to have a bathroom break, waiting outside a different porta potty for another bathroom break, but we did it. Um, we accomplished things running that I never thought that my body would be able to do. And it was all because of you, your training, keeping us on track. I love meeting you after school and um, the talks um, sharing things that we needed to, the stress of stress of life, stress of school 
it was always a wonderful time and a wonderful time having with you when we got to run together. Um, our pool days, pool days at your mom's house, pool days at Papa T's house, pool days at different pools. Um, the kids always have so much fun together playing and I'll never forget all the pool days that we've gotten to have together and just hanging out, being friends, being having our children be friends and playing. It's always been so wonderful. Of course, we all, Dana, you and I, having our children around the same time, hosting each other's baby showers. Um, those are just memories that'll always be kept, making each other food and just being there when we need. Um, I remember coming to your house for Halloween and all the children dressing up. I have pictures of how little and tiny they were and now how they're so grown. Of course, going out to eat, Dana and you and I on everybody's birthday, which we'll get to do soon, hopefully for you. It's always such a wonderful time. It's amazing to me that even though we go through little lulls of not speaking or talking as much because our life is so busy, we can always jump back into those dinners and catch up and it's like we haven't missed a beat. Um, thank you for our friendship. Thank you for just always being such a great person. I'm proud of you. Um, I hope you have the best birthday ever and I hope your family celebrates you big and I hope that I can celebrate you big too soon. Happy birthday, love you. Yes, I hope you have a good birthday. Did you get it? I did. Happy birthday, Jessica. We love you and we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Hey, Jessica, happy 40th birthday. We are so glad to be celebrating with you, even if it is virtual. And we love you and we are grateful for you and the wonderful person that you are. What do you want to say? Happy birthday, Miss Jessica. Have a nice birthday. There we go. Hey, Jess. I uh, hope you have a great day. I uh, can't believe that um, we are close enough to have 40th birthdays, but um, it has been um, an honor to be your cousin. And I used to, um, especially when I was like a very young high schooler and middle schooler, I was so proud to tell people that I was your cousin um, because you were uh, you were cool. And so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, still proud to tell people that um, you're my cousin, and I hope that um, you have a great day getting to celebrate with your girls and B, and, and just have a, a wonderful birthday. We love you, and I uh, wish we could see each other more often, but um, this year's been a little crazy, And um, but hopefully on the other side we'll um, get to uh, celebrate your birthday. But hope you have a great day, and, and we love you, and, and um, have a wonderful birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jess. Um, I hope this is your best birthday yet, even though all this COVID stuff is happening. Um, I just wanted to say I have always looked up to you. You have been just the best sister-in-law I could ever imagine. 
You've helped me with so much, and I'm just so grateful for you. And you deserve to have the best birthday ever. So, mwah. thank you. Love you. Hey Jess, just wanted to say happy birthday. Um, also wanted to say thank you again for everything that you do, always inviting me, including me to anything the family does. Uh, being able to tell the grandparents that, you know, when holidays or special events, birthdays come around, that like I've got a great place to be able to go to, celebrate, uh, just get that, get that family feeling. Um, and you are certainly the key driver, I think, in that. And so, um, love, love, love that y'all are my family. It, it truly does mean the world to me. So anyways, happy birthday. Um, and thank you again. See ya. Happy birthday, Jessica. You are 40 and I cannot believe it. It makes me feel old because or obviously I'm already in my 40s, but now that my siblings are turning 40, that makes me feel old. Um, but you make 40 look wonderful. You definitely don't look 40. And um, I think it'll be a great decade for you. 40 is actually fun. But um, I love you so much, and I'm so glad that we get to spend your birthday with you. Um, you are so many things to so many people mom, daughter, a friend, teacher, and of course to me, you are a sister and a great one at that. Um, I have so many memories of us from the moment we were little. Um, in fact, I've got a picture. I think this one's really cute of us. Um, this was January 1981, so you were about five months old and um, so cute. You're such a cute baby. You have definitely slimmed down a little bit. You had some big old cheeks. Um, but anyways, we played together so well from the get-go and you were always kind of a little sidekick. Um, I remember going away to college, being a senior and you being so sad, um, but you weren't far behind me and you have obviously grown into a wonderful person and I think anyone who knows you or has the fortune to be a friend or a family member of you um, would agree with me that you are just one of the best people I know. Um, you're so sweet, even though Brandon likes to tell me you're not, but I know you are. I think he's just jealous. Um, but you are kind and loving and we just love you so much and you're such a great aunt to my two girls too so thank you for that but um anyways i really do hope you have the best year best decade ever and even though you're celebrating this um during a global pandemic it's still a birthday to remember and um i hope that we all make it as fun for you as possible love you tons Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Jess, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Jess from all of us. Happy birthday Jess from mom. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. And Jess from one <laughs> aging woman to another. You're not really 40, yeah. you're just 18 with 22 years of experience. Mommy, I love you and you hope it's the best decade yet. Sorry mean, for the Blair Witch. We didn't love get you. in her birthday. What? We're not at her birthday. <laughs> Thank you.
Jessica, a, uh, a mother, a math teacher, a wife, a daughter, a sister, a Tay Tay aficionado, a new kids on the block aficionado. That's old school, Olivia and Sadie. You're a lot of things. Um, also 40. That's one of the other things you are now. It's 40. But I think to me and to a lot of those other people I just mentioned, like, you know, math teacher, your students, daughter, mom and dad, everything. Um, you're a constant. I know in um, our life growing up, you were actually the only person that was always there. Mom's house, we were together. Dad's house, we were together. Riding the blue car to school while you try to put on eye makeup and not wreck. We were together. Uh, don't do that either, Olivia and Sadie. Uh, plane trips to see, like, Papa, I guess. Um, we were together. That's insane. I don't, I don't know. Probably wouldn't do that these days. Um, you are someone that... I have always been able to count on, and I think you're someone that everyone else in your life always knows they can count on. And that may be one of the single best qualities that any person can have. And so I guess that makes you one of the best people I know. And I'm just proud that I know you and I'm even more proud that you're my sister, even if you are 40 already. Happy birthday. Love you. Happy birthday, Jessica. Happy 40th. We love you. Happy birthday, Jessica. I cannot believe you are 40 after looking at your 21st birthday pictures. Time is flying. I hope you know how special you are to all of us. We love you, and I hope today is awesome because you really, really deserve it. Almost 20 years ago, look at that sweet couple. Yep. So happy birthday, Jesse. There's still things you can do at 40 years old. Like swinging. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Oh my gosh. Oh crap. Maybe not at 59. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. Hi, Jessica. Happy birthday. My favorite memory of Jessica 
is when she used to cry as a baby and I would walk her around at two in the morning and sing to her. And being the smart kid that Jessica is, she knew real quick, if I stop crying, dad will stop singing. Happy birthday, Jessica. I love you. Sorry about that. I had a film guy lined up. Tested positive for COVID. Quarantined itself 14 days. Uh, Jess, happy birthday. Happy 40th. You know, I know girls get a little bit depressed, sad over what they think is turning middle age. I got thinking exactly what is middle age? You know, are you middle age? Who's to say you are? Who's to say you aren't at 40? So I went online and did a little research. This is what I came up with. An American white female, according to the 2020 uh, statistics, your life expectancy is 81.1 years. Although there's many variables. You know, there's things that can add to your lifespan, take away from it, many things. Let me give you first uh, some for instance. Number one, married to Bradley, automatic five, your are data, you know, anyway, look at it. Five years, right off the top, okay? The two divas. You combine the two together, that's a seven year data, okay? But then, you know, that's, that's, it's not all bad. There's things that can help. For instance, having a pet, such as a dog. Three year adder, good boy, Ranger. So it brings me to your number of 72.1 years expectancy. Now, if you do the math, Miss Palmore, you're probably quite a bit over middle age now. And that got me to thinking. I'm 19 years older than you. Married to your mom, the duck. Got four grandchildren, the duck. Um, your brother's a liberal. Huge D up. Huge D up. Well, I look at it, if I don't buy me a whole pack of dogs, I'll be darn lucky if I have another 10 years left. That's something there to think about. But uh, beyond that, you know what I love is you've always stayed true to yourself. You've, uh, you've always been who you are. You're extremely beautiful, smart, kind, God-loving, conservative American girl. Can I get an amen, Brandon and Mike? You know, I've always thought of you as my own, and still to this day, you're the only living human I've ever drank or eaten after. I, 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 I can't even uh, figure out why or how that is. Uh, I just love you. And, you know, I've always kept things of yours. I've kept a lot of things that I don't know. I've kept your new kids on the block, figures, photos, things from your school days. I keep a lot of them here in my office. I keep a lot of them in my drawers, and I, I see them daily. I, I don't know why. I just feel good having them. Uh, for instance, still got this Kropi lunch pail of yours. Still got your spoon and fork in it. Can't park with it. I have no idea why. Uh, probably got 50 old photos here in my office. I just reached in a drawer today and found a couple. One of them's even in view of an old boyfriend. Don't worry, I'm not going to show anybody. Oh, the heck, I'm not. You know, just, that's just too good. There we are. Cute, huh? How about this? Beautiful. And everybody knows you still look exactly the same. How that's possible? Beyond me. It's amazing. I mean, now that we've determined you're well over middle aged and still look like you did in school, that's, that's gotta count for something. You know, uh, I guess you're about as close to being perfect as anybody I've ever met. 
But if I had to say you have a fault, or maybe it's a talent, I think it's probably more of a talent. You're the only person I've ever seen or known that can carry on a complete conversation Well, they ever say a word. Just by shrugging your shoulders, rolling your eyes, moving your head back and forth. I guess it's just a God-given talent. But, you know, just so you know, your mother does not care for your talent whatsoever. Uh, Jess, we love you. Happy birthday. And I think I'll finish my drink and have myself a good cry. Love you. Happy birthday, Mama, from me and Range. We love you. Um, my favorite memory that we have together is you taking just the two of us to the um, Taylor Swift Reputation Tour um, concert. And I hope that you have an awesome birthday, awesome 40th birthday. Um, I love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mommy. I love it when it, whenever you come to my soccer game and cheer to support me. I also love it whenever you snuggle with me and play games with me. Happy birthday. I love you so much. Happy birthday, Jessica. Happy 40th. There was something I read in the, a book the other day that I, that I, so it's not my words, but I wanted to say them to you because it really applies. I can't promise to be here for the rest of your life, but I can promise to love you for the rest of mine. That's my feelings, baby girl. I love you. Happy birthday. Let's celebrate.